Hello there guys, and welcome to this episode of Go Inkscape. Today I'll be showing you how to use Inkscape to create your very own business card template. With this template, you'll be able to design a business card and even print them right from home. To get started, let's go to File and Document Properties. What we need to do is change the document size. So for the width, we're going to do 8.5 inches, and for the height, we'll have 11 inches. Now this is the standard size for a piece of paper. Now let's exit. So now we have the correct size, but what we need to do now is create some guides. To do so, let's go over to the pen tool. We'll select that, click, and then hold control to snap the angle. We just need straight lines. And we're going to need three of these. I should also note that the height does not matter at this point. There we go. So once we have our lines in place, what we need to do is put them at the proper dimensions. So our first line here, we're going to have to select inches as well. Our X is going to be 0 0.75. For our middle line, X is going to be 4.25. And our final line here will be 7.75. There we go. Now for the horizontal lines, we're going to have six of them. So go ahead and repeat the same thing. And go ahead and just draw all six of them. Again, the length of the lines do not matter. All right, there we go. So select the first line, and now we're going to be adjusting our Y dimensions. Our first one will be 10.5. The second one will be 8.5. The third line will be 6.5. The fourth line will be 4.5. The fifth line will be 2.5. And our final line will be 0 0.5. And there we go. So this is the spacing for our business cards that we'll be using. What we do to new now is select all of them and convert them to a guide. To do so, just hit Control A to select all, and go up to Object, and go Object to Guides. Perfect. And now you see we have our guides all set up. The next step to use our business card template would be to make sure that snapping is enabled. To do so, find your snapping toolbar. Mine's on the right over here. Now, what we need is to enable snapping, first of all. And I'm also going to snap bounding boxes. And then the next one we really need is just to make sure that snap to guides is selected. That way if we say grab the rectangle tool, it'll go ahead and snap for us so we can create snap backgrounds. So that's how you use your business card template. Now how about we design a rather simple business card? So to design a business card, let's just zoom in a little bit now. What we'll do, we'll design one single business card and then we'll duplicate them over our template. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and draw that rectangle. I'm going to go up to Object, Fill and Stroke. The background I'm looking for is something along the lines of blue. That looks good. Now the most important thing in a business card obviously would be some sort of text. So let's go ahead and add John Smith here. And let's give that a white font. And to center this on our business card, we're going to open up our Align and Distribute panel. Now to use this, we'll select the object we want to align to the object we'll be aligning it to. You can go ahead and hit the Center on Vertical Axis and Center on Horizontal Axis. Then you end up with a result like this. We can go ahead and continue to add some text, perhaps as job title. Ooh, associate editor, fancy. I'll go ahead and shrink that up. Put that somewhere right there. And we'll go ahead and we'll align this as well. Now I suppose we could use some sort of company name as well. How about Go Inkscape? Clever. We'll go ahead and we'll center this as well. There we go. And we can't forget his phone number. Ooh, nice number. Yeah, 
And what about his email? We want to forget that, would we? Excellent. Now we'll continue to just align some things here. Or might as well keep it looking good. I'm going to group these so that we can align it also. All right. So there's our business card so far. It's very simple, obviously. Nothing very, very much fun going on there. But what we'll want to do now is select all of it and group. Now with our business card all grouped up and ready to go, we need to make sure we go back to our snapping toolbar and enable snap bounding box corners. This is so that it'll snap our group as a bounding box and we can duplicate it accordingly. So go ahead, select it, and copy and paste. We should be able to just go ahead and snap these in now. And go ahead and copy multiples and get the job done a little bit faster. And just simply repeat this until you're all set. There we go, and one more. Perfect. So here are all of our business cards lined up and ready to print. Now if you want to print these just at home, I recommend going up to File and Save As. And probably save it something like a PDF would be your best bet. That way it's a vector format and it's printable. So go ahead and you can just save that. Save it as a business card and save. Go ahead and click OK and you'll be ready to print that file. That pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember, we don't just make videos, you can head over to GoInkscape.com for daily tips and tutorials exclusively for Inkscape. Thanks for watching.